Hey everyone, Spencer from 45 Drives with another Tuesday Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about snapshots, how you can use them, and what they are. So we've done a couple videos in the past uh, about snapshots, specifically when it pertains to, to ZFS, but more so just in, in general as well. Uh, Brett did a video a while ago about scheduling snapshots. Mitch did one just kind of on the, the theory of what a snapshot is. Um, I really just wanted to talk kind of about snapshots and how you can utilize them in your environment. Um, we've also had some changes on how to set up uh, recurring snapshots since Brett's original video. So just wanted to give a quick demo of that as well. Uh, but to get started, snapshots are essentially a point in time that can be rolled back to. Uh, these point in times are taken in an immutable state, which essentially means that they cannot be changed or modified. Um, being you know, immune to modification essentially means they serve as a, a great protection against ransomware, or at least common forms of ransomware, which will tend to work from you know, an infected workstation and start to infect files and modify them. Having these points in time taken allows you to roll back those specific files or even a full directory tree to provide a really great level of security against those type of attacks, those common types of attacks. Of course, snapshots can sound somewhat complicated, uh, but they are relatively simple. So I'm just going to show kind of a, a very quick uh, example of a snapshot policy that we may commonly use. I'll show you how to set that up in, in Houston UI as well, and then we'll come back and discuss maybe some more complex features in, in a snapshot policy. Uh, so we're in our Houston UI here. We're in our ZFS tab, and you can see I've already created a pool. It's called Demo Pool. I've also already created a file system here, test file system underneath that demo pool. If we click the little three dot button, hamburger button, some people call them, uh, there's a configure replication task. We're going to set up a, a fairly simple uh, replication or um, not necessarily the replication task here, but a snapshot policy uh, that really anyone can use pretty much immediately uh, to start protecting their data from a, a fairly low level. Uh, so to get started, we're going to start with a uh, retention policy of uh, one day. So we're going to keep this snapshot for one day. And we're going to take this snapshot every hour. So we're basically saying there we'll have 24 hourly snapshots, and then we'll start rolling them over once that 24th one is taken. So we delete the first one and just keep rolling through. You want your snapshots to have a retention policy. You don't just want to keep them forever, because snapshots will eventually balloon in size over time. Um, Basically, any time a file is modified, the size of that snapshot is going to increase. So that retention time is pretty important. So we have one there. Keep it for a day. Take one every hour, so 24 in a day. We'll also make one that's a bit longer term. So we'll take, say, we'll, we'll chain it for a week, and we'll take it one a day. So that means you'll have seven of these daily snapshots in your week uh, so that you can roll back to a specific day if need be. And the final one will go even farther. Uh, we'll keep it for a month, and we'll take them every week. So then we'll have weekly snapshots, so you'll have four in a month that you can roll back to. So that's kind of a, a very simple, relatively easy to stand up snapshot policy. I'll just click the configure button there, and it'll go ahead and set itself up and start taking those automatically. Uh, of course, we'd have to wait uh, to actually see the snapshot occur from that first hourly snapshot, uh, which will definitely not occur within the time of this video, but that's kind of just a, a quick example of a very simple architecture to get you started in snapshotting. So as you just saw there, uh, snapshot policies are, are relatively simple to set up. Um, you also saw that they're set on a per file system or per data set basis. Uh, that means if you have good data segmentation, let's say each of your departments within your organization has their own data set, like a finance department, a, a video department, each one has their own data set, you can have snapshot policies specific to those departments. So let's say your, your finance department is very important, right? You have a lot of data that's changing a lot. You need to be able to roll that back in the case of not just ransomware, but even just like accidentally deleting a file, right? Uh, we can set more aggressive snapshot policies for that particular department. Maybe they take one every couple minutes and roll them out every hour or so, right? So there's a lot of flexibility there. <clears throat> that also means, for example, if one department was infected with some type of ransomware, you could roll back just that department without actually having to affect any of your other departments within your organization. Uh, so as you just saw, relatively simple to get started in snapshotting, uh, but of course there's a lot of complexity there when you start getting into, okay, how robust can I make these policies? Do I want to kind of segregate these policies 
to specific aspects of my business. So it really is as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Of course, uh, I would be irresponsible uh, to not say that snapshots are not a replacement uh, for something like a backup copy, right? You're still gonna wanna keep your normal backup schemes in place, uh, but snapshots can certainly help with that backup policy. Uh, in particular, with something like ZFS, you could use ZFS send and receive uh, to send those snapshots to like a remote ZFS box. And then you have those two copies, both with snapshots. Uh, so it's a very efficient way to get a remote backup copy, as well as local restores as need be. Um, so that was how we set up snapshots on, on ZFS and some you know, information about snapshots. Uh, snapshot, of course, though, is not a technology unique to ZFS. The same option exists in places like CephFS, Ceph's native file system, uh, RBD, which is Ceph's native block device, uh, and object storage, so like S3 has something called versioning, uh, which isn't exactly the same as a, a snapshot policy, but it is very similar in nature. Uh, and maybe we'll explore those in some future videos, uh, but for now, see you guys next time.